It's beer o'clock on Milo Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Brew York Craft Brewery up there in York, Northern England, UK. And it's a can of their X Panda Session IPA coming in at 4.5% ABV. So the idea with the X series is every time they brew this style of beer or, or, or this series of beer, because there's different styles to be honest, uh, they just change the hops and so, and, and the name of the beer. So X Panda, this is a session IPA at 4.5, we're gonna do that today. And then you have X Parrot, which is a tropical IPA at 5.5% or 6 .5 ABV. So we're gonna leave that till later on. Always start with a session IPA, you don't wanna burn your palate out. Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. A bit confusing to be honest. I'm not gonna review the X Parrot today. That's gonna to be in a separate review, so look out for that. I just wanted to show you the series, or try and explain the series a bit to you guys. Slow moving carbonation, one to two finger white head, amber, golden amber in the color. Looks nice, nice beer. A little bit hazy, let's get the aroma. Yeah, Citra, Nelson Sovin, and there's a hop in here from New Zealand called Waimea. So two New Zealand hops, Nelson Sovin and Waimea, and then the US hop Citra. Most definitely get it. Really tropical, lovely, juicy, fantastic aroma. There's peaches, there's passion fruit. And it really is kind of pumping its way out of the glass, the, the aroma, it's, it's making me salivate if I'm honest. Biscuity breadiness, coming from the malt. <clears throat> this smells tremendous, let's dive in. Cheers everybody. Slightly dry, inevitably easy drinking, biscuity bready malts coming through. It's got quite a bit of white grape, white apple. There's a, if you think of the, the dry citrus flavor of a, a white apple, a, a green apple, should I say, white apple. White grape, green apple. Grab a green apple, bite into it, it'll be really juicy, and then the skin and the flesh will, once you've swallowed it, it'll leave you with a bit of dryness going on in the mouth. And this is what it's reminding me, and th this beer is leaving you, although it's very refreshing to, to begin with, it's, it, it's a dry flavor on the back of the palate. Good carbonation, beer pushes itself around the inside of the mouth. White grape, green apple, touch of, I'd say passion fruit. Passion fruit's quite a dry fruit as well. Maybe some apricot and peach, and a touch of grapefruit. Orange peel, there's a lot going on. It's a nice beer, a really nice beer. And I think I'm ready to rate it. It's just something that is 4.5% ABV. It's something you go to your local craft beer bar, you see it at the early stages of your night, and you think, I'm going to start on something nice and hoppy and drinkable. And you can stay on that style of beer all night if you want, if you want to be reasonable. If you want to go crazy, like some of us do sometimes, then you work up through IPAs and you end up drinking Imperial Stouts and, and, and missing your bus on the way home. X Panda Session IPA, 4.5% ABV. Really nice beer, nice biscuit malts coming through. It's quite nicely balanced between that sweetness of the biscuit malt and the bitterness of the hop. It's not overly bitter though. A lot of these beers these days, they're meant, they're brewed for flavor and flavor alone. Uh, they're not trying to kind of ruination your palate. I like this beer enough to give it I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. Really nice beer. 
not quite getting it to a 9 out of 10, you know, it's not making me scream stone the crows. Uh, but thanks for watching, please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom! And cheers.